playing all of the positions of the A minor blues scale. Before attempting this tutorial, you need to watch the five videos for each of the positions of the A minor blues scale. However, if you're reasonably happy with your blues scales, this tutorial will help you bring it all together. Here we have an illustration of how the scales fit together. And looking at it this way, it just looks like one big mass of dots on the neck. However, if we break it apart, you can see how the different scales are fitting in there. So, the first position, the second position, the third position. I need to mention at this point, the third position is slightly different because we remove a note. Now, the reason we've removed the note is for fingering integrity. I'll explain that in more detail in a moment, but first let's see how the other positions fit in place. So, next is the fourth position, and finally the fifth position. You'll remember that some of these scales can be played in two places on the neck, however, for this tutorial I'm just using one of the two options. Now, to explain fingering integrity. Initially, when you learn a scale, they should be played in one position on the neck. This means where you rest your first finger, the next fret up should always be the second finger, and then the next step fret up should be the third, and the one after that, the fourth. This is called a position. So the position is named by the position of the first finger. So, for example, if the first finger is landing on the second fret, this is a second position scale. However, if the first finger is landing on the third fret, this will be third position. If the first finger was to land on the fifth fret, that would be fifth position. And if the first finger was landing on the seventh fret, then this would be the seventh position. And this repeats for all the frets on the guitar. For those who use conventional guitar music instead of tab, you actually get Roman numerals above the score which tell you which position you should be playing in. Now, with the shapes I've taught you in these five positions of blues scale, I've made sure that they keep as closely as possible to the position integrity. The reason for this is so that you get into good habit of playing in positions and using the correct fingers. However, once it becomes pretty automatic or instinctive for you to use the correct fingers, then you can start moving around and experimenting and adding the extra notes to the scale. However, don't do this until you're pretty automatic and you're playing with the correct fingers. If you feel you're ready, we'll try playing through all five of the blues scale with a metronome. First, we'll try very slowly at 40 beats per minute then we'll double that and go to 80 beats per minute and finally we'll do 120 beats per minute and at the end of this video I'll put some metronome beats at 40, 60, 80, 100 and 120 beats per minute. Each of these exercises will give you two bars or eight beats before you come in and you'll get two beats between each scale in order to change. Now, let's start with the slowest at 40 beats per minute.
Now let's try the five blues scales at 80 beats per minute. Finally, let's try the five blue scales at 120 beats per minute. But don't worry if you can't do this yet, keep practicing at the speed you can do and then you can slowly increase the speed. Remember there's some metronome beats at the end of this video at various speeds. And finally, here are the metronome beats at various speeds. 40 beats per minute. Sixty beats per minute.
80 beats per minute. One hundred beats per minute. One hundred and twenty beats per minute. <laughs> 